Carmi Weininger to talk a little bit about asymmetry and its effect on balance of the saddle. We are asymmetrical beings and so are our, our horses. And often this combination of our asymmetries and theirs results in the saddle going off to one side. That's always a problem and it's always something that we want to address. And uh, we'll talk about how to do that. So an asymmetry, whether it's in the horse or the rider, that's significant enough to put the saddle off to one side needs to be corrected. The reason is, um, we believe, quoting Dr. Kerry Ridgway, that a step out of balance is a step toward unsoundness. When you sit off to one side of the horse's body, both your body and theirs begin to compensate for the asymmetry by developing aberrant patterns. These are not healthy patterns and they're not good for longevity of your horse's structural system. So, lecture aside, let's look at how do we identify an asymmetry and then fix it. Here are the things you'll need to get going. Your reactor panel saddle, saddle pad with pockets, panel liners or shims, both a hole and two halves. And these are things that we can send you to use as you determine how to compensate for any asymmetry you have in your saddle. Two parts and we're ready to go. So to begin this lab, we're going to walk behind the horse with the saddle ungirthed, and we're watching to see if the saddle's in the middle of the horse or if it's going off to one side. When the horse stops, we'll be able to see if the reactor panel logo is straight on the horse's back, or as you can see in this shot, it's off to the right. To address the asymmetry we've identified, which is resulting in the saddle going to the right, we are going to shim all four quadrants of the saddle one at a time and note the results. We'll start by using a piece of foam in the shape of the panel, front half only, and putting it under the left front quadrant of the saddle, and then watching the horse walk again. We've now shimmed the left front quadrant of the saddle, and we're repeating the walk behind to see what effect that has on the tilt of the saddle and its tendency to go off to the right. So when the horse stops, we will see that the emblem in the center of the saddle is now closer to center. Next, we'll shim the left rear quadrant of the saddle. Again, using a piece of foam, the size and shape of the panel, but just the rear half. We'll put the piece of foam underneath the left rear of the saddle, and we'll walk behind and see what effect this shim has. Let's shim in the left rear of the saddle. We can see before the horse is stopped that the saddle is going dramatically over to the right. And when the horse stops, we see what we expected to see. The shimming of the left rear has made the problem worse. Reviewing our results, we've shimmed the left front, which had a positive effect, the left rear, which had a negative effect, and now we're shimming the right rear. Let's take a walk and see what this shim does. In this walk, we've put the shim in the right rear quadrant of the saddle. And as we walk, we can see that the saddle looks fairly stable, but let's see what happens when we stop. So the right rear seems to have a positive effect as well. To finish our asymmetry workup, we'll shim the last remaining quadrant of the saddle which is the right front. And let's take a walk and see what we got. We're now observing the effect of the last quadrant, the right front. And it appears that it might be having the effect of pushing the saddle slightly off to the left. Let's stop and see. And the saddle looks just a little bit to the left. Now that we've done our workshop, we've determined that the left front and the right rear quadrants help to make the saddle stable and level. The left rear exacerbated the original problem, which was to send the saddle off to the right, and the right front seemed to send the saddle to the left and make it diagonally not as stable as we would like. 
So now that we've identified the two quadrants which do seem to help, we need to add the riding piece. The riding piece is quite important because we may have an additional effect on the balance of the saddle ourselves. So step one is to take your reactor panel saddle pad, take your shim, and to shim the left front, we put our shim into the pad and then the pad onto the saddle. And then you'll go for a riding test. I'd like to recommend that you get a helper because if you're accustomed to sitting off to one side, your body's proprioceptors, that is your sense of balance, may be slightly off and you may not be aware when you're off to one side. So best to have a helper and best to have that helper at the same vantage point as we were as we conducted this workshop, which is to stand behind the horse to watch the round reactor panel logo and it's lining up with your horse's tail and also with the seam on the center of your pants. Good luck.